Hi, it's good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm still in the Brecon Beacons. <laughs> I left uh, Lily Fan Fash Lake and uh, I was getting a bit peckish, so I stopped in at a cafe, only about 20 minutes drive down the road from the lake, and uh, ordered a full English and a pot of tea. <laughs> and um, I started looking on the internet and I thought, I've got another hour to travel through the Brecon Beacons yet. There's got to be somewhere else that I can photograph on the way home. And I found this waterfall. I found it on Instagram, actually. And um, there's three or four locally around here, but this battery's nearly gone, so I'm just going to uh, photograph and chat about this one today. I'll have to come back. Another good excuse to come back to the Brecon Beacons. But, uh, yeah. So, I cannot pronounce this waterfall. I'll write it down below. It's, I, it's called Swinnard Panwer. Swinnard Panwer. But uh, apologies for any uh, Welsh viewers. Please let me know how you pronounce it. But uh, yeah, what a beautiful waterfall. Biggest one I've been to so far in Wales anyway. Um, like I say, there is three or four more. It's about a three, mile, three or four mile round trip, but I'll have to come and do them again. Um, perhaps in the next month when the uh, leaves are turning, there'll be some lovely colours then. Now, because it's such a wide waterfall, I've actually gone for two compositions. I've gone and sat to the right hand side of the waterfall first where it's at its widest point and then you've got two or three more sections that are a bit narrower so I've got the widest point of waterfall nearest to me and it leads your eye away from the waterfall obviously and at the end of the waterfall there's a lighter area where the river runs leads out of the waterfall and uh, I thought that worked quite nicely and then I spotted the other side of the waterfall a big fallen tree it looks like it's been there a few years um, it's all smoothed off from when when it's a lot deeper obviously in the winter and I thought I bet that looked nice as a foreground element so I went to the other side of the waterfall and got the fallen tree in the foreground and then obviously that leads your eye into the waterfall and back up to the the widest point of the waterfall at the furthest distance it's a bit darker this side of the uh, waterfall on the right hand side so I think both compositions work so uh, You'll have to let me know in the comments which one you like best. Now, settings-wise, as you can remember from uh, when I was last in Wales, my when I was in Ogwen Valley, my 10-stop and my polarising filter got stuck together, and they're still stuck together. I've ordered a couple more, but they haven't come yet before I set off. So I've had to put the 10-stop on, which was a bit dark for in here. So I've had to bump up the ISO to 800, but I know the uh, the Mark Mark IV uh, the 5D Mark IV can handle ISOs fine. So I'm at ISO 800, F7.1, and I'm at 25th, uh, 25 second exposure. And uh, I've obviously bracketed and I've gone, I've took the ISO down to ISO 100, left it at F7.1 and at 25 seconds, which is well underexposed, but it's got the, the highlight tones within the waterfall quite nice. So. I'll probably have to merge the two frames, so I say a bit of bracketing involved, just to get the tone, the highlights right in the waterfall. But uh, yeah, really pleased with this. Um, I'm glad I, I'm glad I made the trip out, and man, I'm glad I checked to have a look if there's anything else. Like I say, there is uh, three more waterfalls, but we'll leave that for another day because the battery is going low on this now. So uh, anyway, yeah, jobs are good, and I'll pop these two frames up now. Let me know which ones you like best, and uh, I hope you like them, guys.
it's a big old walk back up to the van. Certainly getting me fit walking around Wales. <laughs> but uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. What a lovely falls. Pleased I found it on Instagram, really. So it's on my way home, so I'm only about <laughs> four or five hours late, but never mind. <laughs> Jill is used to it by now. <laughs> but uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. So, lovely for all that. Uh, let me know which one you like best, which angle, you know, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Yeah, jobs are good. Whew. So, I'm definitely going home now. <laughs> no more stop offs. So, uh, right. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Catch up on the next video. Take care. Catch up soon.